Joining me now is going to be Bob Sayre, Partner GM of Engineering for Azure Communication Services. I think we have him on the line and the communication link's okay. Bob, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Rick. I'm super excited to be here. So I know that we previewed and talked about Azure Communication Services at Microsoft Ignite earlier in the year, but uh, we're here today because we're actually achieving a GA milestone. Um, can you actually share a little bit about, for those people that don't know what Azure Communication Services is, what it's all about? Sure. Azure Communication Services is a communication platform as a service. So it's an Azure offering focused at developers who want to use APIs and software development kits to embed communications inside of their applications and workflows. And the great thing about it is that it's built on the same infrastructure that powers Microsoft Teams. So if you think about it, Microsoft Teams has currently powers over 145 million daily active users every single day in a very secure, compliant, robust, geographically scaled system. And so as a developer, you can come in and not have to worry about all that complexity. We, um, we announced our general availability recently, as you mentioned, and we started with four communication primitives so far, calling, chat, SMS texting, and traditional PSTN landline calling. And so developers can now go in and leverage those inside their applications uh, and, and work them into their current flow for what they're trying to do with that particular application. Um, what sort of things uh, can we do with the, the, the changes for what's available inside of Azure Communication Services? You know, actually, how about we even simplify this even better? Um, I'm going to throw this a little bit different and just simply ask you for some examples of a couple of ways that developers have actually created different applications using Azure Communication Services. Yeah, absolutely. So um, there's a couple things. So first of all, we've learned from our customers that the ability to build a consumer facing or an external facing custom application that will allow their our customers, external customers to talk to their Teams users who are inside the company is super important. So we've already talked about Teams Interop, but we're announcing uh, this a build that you can uh, basically get that Teams leg of the conversation for free as a developer. So you don't have to pay for that leg twice, which mm -hmm. is awesome. And so um, there's a few other things. Before I show you an example, we have a couple of things that we've made it easier for developers to build. So instead of having developers have to go and build all of the communication UI, basically, we've launched a UI library for developers. Okay. We've added additional SDKs for developing on Windows. Um, we also are making it easier to save artifacts for those those calls. So now you can um, add call recording, for example, if you want to have a recording of every call or meeting that happens to the system. And then we're making our infrastructure robust for enterprises that already have calling plans, for example. And so we have direct routing if you have some type of a SIP router for your calling plans, and you can just connect that into uh, the existing Azure Communication Services system. And then the final thing is, is that we're adding network traversal. So if you have custom media and you want to be able to span networks, it's something that we're very good at. And again, you don't have to worry about all that complexity. So, um, but you asked about examples. So, so right. some of the examples that uh, that we're seeing are a lot of like virtual visits, as you can imagine in the times that we're in right now, where some uh, examples would be a virtual visit with a patient or maybe like a team of providers that are providing care for a patient and their family. And so that, that team might be physicians that already have a Microsoft Teams calling plan. And then the customers are gonna be joining via like a mobile browser, for example. And so I'll just show you over here in, um, in uh, the first thing to do is to go check out Azure Communication Services in Azure, and you can learn all about what we do. And then, uh, and then from there, if you want to go take a look at some of the code, then we have some really nice samples there. And then uh, what I've done here is I've taken this group calling sample and uh, and I've built already a deployed site where this is now running on my server. And uh, and so what I'm going to do is this could be, um, let's say a uh, a, a hospital organization has a booking system where they automated and sent a text that reminded me of the call with a link and I clicked into this link as a patient. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna join into a conversation first by letting the doctor know who I am and then starting the call. Turn on my video. So now I'm gonna join into the call and then here you'll see me twice. So basically in this view here where I'm looking at the camera, I'm the provider or the physician that's communicating via Microsoft Teams. And on this view here, I'm in my browser, which happens to be on my desktop. 
but it could be a mobile browser and it could be embedded inside of my hospital app or my bookings app. And so that's an example of that virtual visit concept where I can have a very highly tailored experience that will connect into my existing team's infrastructure. Okay, so that was a super fast whirlwind demo that was really, really cool. I just want to unpack that for a second. Like, yeah. All the code is available on the GitHub repo for Azure Communication Services right. to be able to go off and try that yourself right now, built on top yeah. of ACS. And then you can just literally plug that in using uh, ACS to go off and facilitate that connection. But you actually, I, I could barely see that on the screen, but you actually just put in like the team's meeting information in that sample piece of That's code, right. and you That's joined right. this particular session from that web browser. That's exactly right. And so think about it. The, the team's infrastructure or the infrastructure that Azure Communications Services sits on top of already has the ability to communicate globally. We can traverse networks, we can handle different types of fidelity of networks. Mm -hmm. And so as a developer, by looking at that code sample on GitHub, I can either dem I can either build in a Windows SDK, iOS, Android, in this case, I use JavaScript. And so with a few lines of code, I can embed that exact same experience in my website. And then all I have to do is using the APIs populate the team's meeting information, which I could have automated the creation of that meeting using the graph API mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that uh, the whole thing can be done through code. And, and as a developer, I don't have to worry about the complexity of how to build all of the infrastructure that runs underneath it. This is so cool. Like, honest to goodness, is like a communications platform as a service, like you said at the beginning. I had no idea that we had the ability to plug into this. This is awesome. Um, so you've given us some ideas on where we can go off and try some of that sample code. Now, I don't. Yes. I know that there's no like big long session specifically here at Build that we can go off and see because ACS and the stuff that you're talking about now kind of pop up in a couple of different sessions. That's right. That's right. I think the best place to go is uh, go take a look at Jeff Teeper's keynote. It's right. build the next generation of collaborative apps for hybrid work. And it shows that experience of building inside of Teams, outside of Teams, and, and augmenting that with Azure Communication Services. Awesome. Well, you know what? Thank you very much. I actually think that one's coming up next on the on the main uh, main player, the main page. But you know what, Bob? Awesome. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Have a great Microsoft build.